Hey guys, uh, this is Sack here. Um, I'm gonna go over my gadget build real quick, uh, which, if you guys watch uh, watch our gameplay videos, is doing really well. Um, I've got a pretty high win rate with her right now. But if you're uh, on the low level and or you're not ranked yet, these builds, this this build is gonna work really well for you. Um, it's very simple. It's very straightforward. It's basically just lots of power you know you're just doing massive damage with gadget gadget does suffer from um problems when it comes to her mana she's a lot more mana hungry than say uh gideon gideon who's who's not mana hungry at all you can just spam his moves for days you know one one mana regen thing is is good enough for him but for gadget uh i have more than that Let, let's start off real quick with uh, at the very top uh, you got uh, I go for the warlord and the reason I go for the warlord is because typically when a team gets orb prime they get it when they're winning when they've got the advantage and they're ready to just push to end the game you know that's usually when teams get um, get their uh, their orb prime so typically I'd say go with the warlord there's really not a huge reason to go in the other case if you were playing with like a five man five team and uh that was one of your guys' strategies was to get orb prime in the defensive play then maybe you could do that but hey if you're just a solo player or a duo player like me and uh me and aaron then uh just pick up the warlord um for your starter items here which if you guys watch my gameplay videos I don't actually start with the starter items. I know I'm supposed to. I just, I don't. But anyways, the starter items you want though are gonna be uh, obviously a cast token or um, if you don't have a cast token, there's a couple other alternatives that give you power. Uh, like here, like strike token. Strike toner token also gives you six power uh, to start off. Uh, you pick up your mana potion and your health potion. Um, the alternatives, uh, I don't have any available currently on this, this build, or me on this, um, account. Shepherd's Vial, but that's a support item, that's not a, uh, that's not a mid laner item. Typically, Gadget, me, mid laning is what we're talking about here with, for her. Uh, you have your one level five item, um, and you could either do Portal Stone or Blink Strike, it's kind of up to you. It kind of depends on how quickly you're going to buy this item. Uh, typically, I don't buy mine in the early game unless I'm doing like really bad. or um, And sometimes I won't even buy it at all. Um, so sometimes I end up with like uh, just across the board level 3 items, you know, um, upgraded to the equivalent amount that would equal... 60 which um i'll throw some numbers up on the screen like right here and just explain that you're trying to get to 60 so the cards you're going to want to have um are going to be level three cards and then they're going to have to total you're going to have totals of well that can't be right six seven eight nine. so you'd have nine 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 and then 12 12 that's if you had all level three items so that's one way you could do it um or another way you could do it if you did pick up your portal stone would then you would be you'd have uh 12 12 12 uh nine and ten so that's when that's the other way you can do it um the most bang for the buck technically like if you if if you really want like the absolutely like just raw numbers like ad advantage which doesn't always work this is there's you know those portal stones are helpful and everything but the raw numbers on how you want to get the highest amount of power or the most bang for your buck here is you have one item that's only level one and then you have four items that are level 12 and then one item that's level 11 and that equals 60 right there 
Um, anyways, continuing on. Okay, let's get into the actual uh, equipment here. Uh, so I've got Admin Edge, two burst engines, two fountain spikes, one magna lens, and two staffs of Admin. So what's going on here is usually my starter item is burst engine. Uh, when if you guys watch my streams is when or my games and my matches that that's how I started I start off with first engine even though like I said I should be starting off with you know cast token health potion and mana potion uh, but I start off with burst engine and I do it for you know well first of all you want power you want to get start getting power right away and notice how every single item I have is power so if you want to swap one of these items out and replace it with a different item uh, in your mind uh, Make sure it has power again, because right now Gadget is, that's where she shines, right? Is you just get her to be as heavy hitting as you possibly can. Use her as a skill based mid laner, you know, where you're not going to be worrying too much about getting ganked and you're going to play it safe and all you're going to do is sit back and poke and do your farming. So uh, anyways, to start off with the burst engine, gives me a little bit of the mana regen. So that way I can stay out in the field a little bit longer. I don't have to port back too soon, but I will have to port back because I don't have a lot of mana. Um, obviously I upgrade. What I do is I upgrade my item all the way first. And that's typically what's gonna give you uh, the quickest amount of power. You know, if you buy all your items first and then you um, upgrade them, you're going to be behind in order to keep up the, the best way to keep up is to buy the item and then buy all the upgrades and then buy your next item so i start off with burst engine then you can kind of see where you're at do you need um if you're needing more mana if you're really having a hard time staying out in the fight you know you're running out of mana like way too quickly and you're not doing um you're not staying out as long as you're wanting to stay out then you can get fountain spike as your second item if you are doing good and you're getting your kills like you're wanting and you're farming really good then you can get staff of adamant instead as your second item so one of those two is going to be your second item either fountain spike or staff of adamant so now now we're going to be so now you've got two items you should be getting closer to mid lane hopefully early game is over one of the fountains or one of the towers have fallen and um, now you can see where you're at are you getting hit hard? If you're starting to get hit hard and you're needing a little bit more health, that's what Adamant Edge is there for. Adamant Edge will give you a little bit more health so you've got a little bit more sustainability to stay in the lane longer, stay in the fights longer, you don't get taken out as quick. Um, I don't always do that. If I, th That's if you're behind. If you're ahead and you're doing good, you get another Fountain Spike. That'll give you more mana so you can stay in the fight longer once again or you can get your second staff of adamant that'd be a great third level build there so at this point in time the other team's tanks are going to start getting tankier you know and then you can consider the magnus lens for your fourth item you know uh if the other team you notice the tanks you're having a hard time beating them up the magnus lens you get that uh magic penetration right so it's got two magic penetration and, and then 0.3 uh mana regen so you get the magic penetration and you can start hitting the tanks a little harder um so that's a good fourth item i guess if you're really really ahead like you could have picked it up third but typically not maybe go maybe go burst engine one staff adamant two and then pick up magna lens and that'll uh, that'll keep you hitting pretty hard um, if you notice there are tanks and you're kind of doing you know up ahead so then uh, for your fifth item you know if you're gonna do portal stone if you've got portal stone at some point in time then uh, your fifth item is gonna be your last item and uh, you just either pick up you can either pick up the a second fountain spike or you can pick up second staff of adamant either way you know you get some more extra power uh, first engine maybe just pick up the second one of whichever one of these you feel you're needing do you need the more power um, do you need you know 
Uh, or do you need a little bit more mana? If you need a little bit more mana, pick up the Fountain Spike. Okay, let's get into the uh, the upgrades now from here. And um, I've got it set up so that I cannot actually do the the setup of having one item be a level one item and then having the four level three items fully upgraded with level three um, upgrades. Uh, so I don't have that set up. My current setup is for either the um, either the portal stone setup where you're going to pick up your level five item, or I've got it set up so that I can buy all level three items and upgrade them appropriately. So um, I've got one major strike and eight major casts, right? So you can do any combination of that. The point is you want nine of these 18 power-ups. Uh, then I got um, I got that ability pen. I got focus shock here for ability to ability pen. So that's for um, that's for my Magnus lens there, right? So when I buy Magnus lens, I'm either gonna have to put one of those two on a right, either a magic pen, or I'm gonna have to put on mana regeneration. So I've got quite a few of those. So there's focus shock, uh, advanced mana, right? Several of the items up here. Uh, Staff of Adamant and Fountain Spike both are mana, so just in case I want to add in some mana there, there's advanced mana. Advanced Chrono, so here's the, uh, here's once again that mana regen for the Magnus, or I'm sorry, ma uh, yeah, Magna Lens. Okay, so then Strike, so here's more power, right? I've got five of those, um, so that way I can keep loading up on power, right? Um, spark, here's the mana regen, shock, ability pen, uh, here's some more mana, chrono, which is mana regen, cast, there you go, there's another cast, I got one more of those, so, uh, so you want to have total of six level two, um, manas, and that would cover, um, that would cover your five. Uh, so if 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 you wanted to go that route for your, um, you buy uh, your portal stone or whatever your or your blink strike, and then you load up with five level three items. So then you could load them up with just your major cast and major strikes, and then follow that up with your regular strikes, and um, regular cast, and that equal. Uh, that equal the right amount there. Um, I do have the minor shock on here, the two ability pen, just because I needed another um, ability pen item. Uh, I wanted to have three of them. So this build, um, you know, you have some fluid fluidity on your upgrades. It doesn't have to be exactly this setup, but here you can, you guys can look at it right now and um, get it if you want. Um, but it does not have to be exactly that. Uh, you can mix out a few more of these things. If you want a little bit more mana, if you notice, I, I've only got a few of these mana things. I've only got two there, and I have, uh, what, advanced mana. So I don't have a lot of mana stuff. Um, so if you want to pick up maybe, like, two or three more manas and sacrifice maybe a few of your powers, that might be okay. But right now I'm going for focused power, lots and lots of power to do as much damage as possible. Um, but mana does help you stay in the fight longer. And that's my current gadget build. Uh, it's meant for mid lane. Uh, probably won't work in solo lane, although you might be able to get away with it. Uh, overall, your focus is going to be on farming uh, with all that power, with that extra power, you're going to be hitting the minions, and so it should be easier to last hit. Uh, and then use your sticky grenade as your primary ability, and use it to attack the enemy. Uh, whittle them down, you know, keep them from farming, just kind of harass them. Uh, stay back on your side of the river, that way you can avoid ganks. Um, 
overall this is going to lead you to some massive power and you're going to be able to hit the enemy team pretty hard um, so that's, that's how you're going to win with her so thanks for watching and if you guys have any recommendations to improve the build you know, leave a comment down in the section if you found this video helpful in any way uh, give me a thumbs up if you guys didn't like the video hit the thumbs down button and uh, go check out our other videos or other matches that I have uploaded uh, you can see how this build works out for me uh, once again thanks see you guys later